WP ERP Accounting is specially designed with an intuitive interface to manage any accounting related task within the WordPress dashboard. It has many useful features such as trial balance, ledger report, balance sheet, income statement, and even more without understanding debits and credits and more. In this video, we're going to show some key configurations of the WP ERP Accounting module. We'll show you how to enable accounting module, how to start a financial year, how to create an opening balance, and lastly, the overview of the accounting module dashboard at a glance. Let's get started. Go to Modules and enable the accounting module. You can see the accounting is showing up here. Here's how you can create a financial year in the accounting module. Go to Settings. Then click on the Accounting and Financial Year. Click Add New and enter the year, start date, and end date. And finally, hit the Save button. Next, we'll show how to create an opening balance. Click on the new transaction. Find the opening balance and click on it. Here is the overview. Add a tax payable. For that, search it and add the agency here. And then, add the credit amount. Move on to the asset and fulfill the blank options with the amount. Check the information before you proceed. Following the same process, fill out the liabilities. Next, enter your information in the equity section. Lastly, Enter the amount here in the bank section, so enter your debit and credit amount. Please note, the debit and credit amount must be the same, otherwise, you can't create the opening balance. Here is the accounting dashboard at a glance. Open the accounting dashboard. Here, you can find information, income and expenses. You can filter the information you want. On the right side, you will get some account details. Scroll down and you'll find the bills you need to pay and payable invoices. Well, you can get a step-by-step -step guideline by following our default tutorial. In case you're using WP ERP for the first time, it will help you to fulfill the basic requirements. Here is how you can do it. Click on the Start Tutorial button and then follow these steps one by one. Hit the Next button and you'll be taken to the next step. In this step, you need to add customers. 
Once you're done, click the Next button. Next, add vendors. Then, configure taxes and add the tax zone. You need to add products or services, so do it here. Add the bank accounts here. And lastly, add an opening balance. So this is how you can use the WP ERP accounting module to handle all the accounting related tasks of your business. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon for more upcoming tutorials like this. Stay tuned!